pond. I wonder what lives here. I can see frogs, birds, and bugs. I wonder what's living down inside the pond. Let's take a look under the water and find out. Wow, I've never seen the bottom of a pond before. There's so many amazing plants and animals. Let's make our own pond. Great idea. Let's start our pond by adding rocks. Tap on the book if you want to hear about the things you can add to the pond. Great! Now there's lots of places for the animals to live and hide. Let's keep going! Underwater plants. Floating plants. Oh! Now we get to pick a plant to add. You can always use my book to hear more information. Underwater plants will help feed lots of pond animals. I wonder who will eat them. Let's look around. Wow, this is so interesting. Let's keep going. Now we get to add animals to the pond. Ponds need lots of different plants and animals to stay healthy. Let's pick one and see what happens. Worm. Snail. These wiggly worms are so tiny. I wonder what other small animals live in the pond. I notice that each time we chew something, the pond changes. Look, we're going up. I wonder what we'll discover. Different creatures live here, in the middle of the pond. I wonder what they are, and what they eat. Tadpole. Dragonfly larva. When you are ready to place things in the pond, tap the book again to close it. Tadpoles will grow and change to become frogs. This larva will grow up to be a dragonfly that flies around the pond's surface. Adult dragonflies drag something into the pond. These larvae become bright, colorful dragonflies when they grow up. They look so different as babies. We could take a closer look at the plants and animals in the pond with this magnifying glass. I notice the dragonfly larva has a big bottom lip that helps it scoop up food. What do you notice? The dragonfly larva has six long legs that each have two claws. Tadpole. Scavenger beetle larva. These larvae become beetles when they grow up. Imagine how different they will look. Plants help animals live and grow. This plant's leaves are good for pond animals to eat. I notice that the little worms wiggle when they swim. I think this is because they don't have fins like fish do. I notice that the little worms wiggle when they swim. I think this is because they don't have fins like fish do. I 
notice the scavenger beetle larva has three pairs of legs. That's six all together. I wonder if it's an insect. Tadpole, caddisfly larva. Tadpoles only eat plants. That makes them herbivores. This larva is a baby caddisfly. Some fish eat the caddisflies. Tadpoles will grow and change to become frogs. Caddisfly larvae use rocks, plants, and sticks to build a hard shell around itself so fish can't eat it. This larva is a baby caddisfly. Some fish eat the caddisflies. Tadpoles only eat plants. That makes them herbivores. I wonder how many tadpoles are here. Count how many you see. It looks like tadpole bodies are just a head and tail. I wonder how the body parts will change as it grows into a frog. This frog is the grown-up of the tadpole we added. notice that this frog has green skin covered in spots. Do you think that helps it hide? Now we're near the pond's surface. I wonder how the animals will be different here. Northern Pike, Red Spotted Newt. Newts live in the water and on land like frogs. Pikefish are big and eat other fish and frogs. Pike hide in the plants to wait for food to catch. Newts eat lots of things in the pond, including insects and worms. Pikefish are big and eat other fish and frogs. Newts live in the water and on land, like frogs. Newts eat lots of things in the pond, including insects and worms. Newts have interesting features that make them look a little like a frog and a little like a lizard. I notice the newt's skin is bumpy. This frog has long back legs that help it hop around on land and swim in the water. Northern Pike, Pumpkin Seed Sunfish. Whoa, look at the size of them. I notice this plant has really thin leaves. What do you notice about the plant's color? I notice that the pikefish has a long, thin body and lots of spots. What do you notice? I notice a tadpole is changing and growing legs. It's becoming a frog. What do you notice? Pumpkin seed sunfish, spotted bass. Look carefully to spot the differences between the pond creatures. What do you notice about the animal sizes? I notice that the spotted bass is a green color with dark spots on its side. What do you notice? It looks like tadpole bodies are just a head and tail. I wonder how the body parts will change as it grows into a frog. This dragonfly is the grown-up of the larva we added. I notice the dragonfly has two really big eyes. I wonder if a dragonfly sees really well. We've reached the top. I wonder what new things we'll discover. Heron, kingfisher. Kingfishers are colorful little birds who are great at, well, fishing. 
Great blue herons are wading birds. That means they stand in the shallow water looking for food. The kingfisher likes to sit on low branches close to the water to look for food. When it spots something, it dives. The great blue heron mostly eats small fish. Kingfishers are called. Kingfishers have pointy beaks that help them go fast when they dive into the water. I noticed the kingfisher has a long and pointy beak. This helps it get its food. What do you notice? I notice the kingfisher has short legs and a short tail. What do you notice? Mallard duck, painted turtle. Mallard ducks like the pond for bathing and finding food. I notice that this frog has green skin covered in spots. Do you think that helps it hide? Heron, painted turtle. The painted turtle's shell protects it. Can you describe the pattern on its shell? We finished our pond. That was so cool. Let's keep exploring. You can keep exploring, or you can make another pond. Do you want to start a new pond? I noticed that this turtle has yellow stripes on its skin. What do you notice? I noticed the beetle's body is dark brown. What do you notice? I notice small hairs on the back of the beetle's legs. These help it swim. What do you notice? I notice a tadpole is changing and growing legs. It's becoming a frog. What do you notice? Tap this button to look at the creatures you've discovered. Look at all the living things you've discovered. Tap on them to learn more. Ooh, we can make a whole new pond. See what happens if you try adding new plants and animals to your pond. Rocks. Underwater plants. Floating plants. Floating plants make good places to hide. Worm, snail. Snails have shells to protect them. I wonder what other creatures have shells. Scavenger beetle larva, caddisfly larva. I wonder what the caddisfly will look like when the larva grows up. Scavenger beetle larva, tadpole. Wow, 
I wonder how many tadpoles are here. Count how many you see. Scavenger beetle larva. Dragonfly larva. These larvae become beetles when they grow up. Imagine how different they will look. The scavenger beetle is the grown-up of the larva we added. Northern Pike, Red Spotted Newt. Whoa, look at the size of them. Red Spotted Newt, Pumpkin Seed Sunfish. These little fish have lots of fun colors. What do you notice about the colors of the animals in the pond? Red Spotted Newt, Spotted Bass. Look carefully to spot the differences between the pond creatures. What do you notice about the animal sizes? I notice the pumpkin seed fish has a bright and colorful pattern. I wonder if that helps them find each other. This caddisfly is the grown-up of the larva we added. Heron, King Fisher. The great blue heron mostly eats small fish. Mallard duck, painted turtle. The painted turtle shell protects it. Can you describe the pattern on its shell? Kingfisher, mallard duck. Mallard ducks like the pond for bathing and finding food. Look at all the living things you've discovered. Pumpkin seed sunfish. Look at